Hello everyone. So welcome to the fourth video of this series where I'm going to discuss uh, the question asked in the January attempt of JE mains 2025. So today we're going to discuss questions asked from units and dimension and I'm pr uh, primarily focusing on units, dimension and significant figures. And I'm pretty sure most of you are quite confident about these type of questions. And for those who are not confident, this video is for you. Right. So now let us jump to the different questions. So the first question is match the column, right? So we have given list one and list two. On list one, we have different physical quantities. And on the list two, we have dimensions of those physical quantities. Now let us see how we can tackle this. So we have Young's modulus. So first of all, we have to think about the formula which has Young's, Young's modulus in it. So we know what is Young's modulus. It is stress upon strain. Right. And we know that strain is dimensionless. So the dimension of stress is same as the dimension of stress uh, uh, dimension of Young's modulus will be same as the dimension of stress and we know that stress is force upon area so and the dimension of force is m raised to power 1 l raised to power 1 t raised to power minus 2 and the dimension for area will be l raised to power 2 so that will be m raised to power 1 l raised to power minus 1 t raised to power minus 2 so if you look at the option, uh, okay, so A, uh, 1 minus 1 minus 2, so 1 minus 1 minus, so we can say A corresponds to 2, right? A corresponds to 2. So if you look at the option, option A and option B can be eliminated because here they have mentioned A corresponds to 1 and 4. Now let us see torque. So uh, let us think about a formula. So we know torque is R cross F, right? In vector form torque will be r cross f so we can say tau dimension will be nothing but the dimension of r and f r is length force is m raised to power 1 l raised to power 1 t raised to power minus 2 so that will become m raised to power 1 l raised to power 2 t raised to power minus 2 so 1 2 minus 2 so 1 2 minus 2 so b corresponds to 4 so it means option 4 is the right answer Similarly, you can check for coefficient of viscosity. For coefficient of viscosity, how you can check? Uh, think about the formula. So we know that uh, the viscous force is 6 pi eta rv, where r is the radius, v is the velocity, and 6 pi is dimensionless constant. So fv is nothing but the force. Now from this, we, uh, by using this formula, we can find the dimension of coefficient of viscosity. And uh, gravitational constant, for gravitational constant, you can use Newton's law of gravitation, which is F is equal to G M1 M2 by R square. So from this, G is nothing but F R square divided by M square. Now from this formula, we can find the dimension of capital G. Right, but uh, I would recommend always do this question by using elimination technique. So with that, you'll be able to eliminate, eliminate two or uh, three options out of four. Right. So let us see the next question. The pair of physical quantity is not having the same dimension. Right. So now we have to compare the dimension. Not having the same dimension. So here we have angular momentum and Planck's constant. So for angular momentum, uh, we know angular momentum is MVR from rotation. We can use this. So the dimension of angular momentum will be M raised to power 1, L raised to power 1, T raised to power minus 1 times L raised to power 1. So it will be M raised to power 1, L raised to power 2, T raised to power minus 1. Now for Planck's constant, we can use energy of photon. So energy of photon is H times nu. So H, dimension of H will be energy upon frequency. And energy is M raised to power 1, L raised to power 2, T raised to power minus 2. And frequency is T raised to power minus 1. So it will be M raised to power 1, T raised to power minus 1, L raised to power 2. Right? So uh, if you look at, if you compare their dimensions are same. So we, option one is incorrect. Torque and energy. So the dimension of torque will be same as the dimension of R and F. Product of R and F. R is L raised to power one. It, uh, force will be M raised to power one. L raised to power one. T raised to power minus two. So that will be M raised to power one. L raised to power two. T raised to power minus two. And for energy it will be m raised to power 1, l raised to power 2, t raised to power minus 2. So option 2 is also incorrect. Surface tension and impulse. Surface tension is force per unit length. 
right so this will be m raised to power 1 l raised to power 1 t raised to power minus 2 upon l raised to power 1 so that comes out to be m raised to power 1 t raised to power minus 2 but impulse impulse is nothing but change in momentum and which is nothing but m times v so m raised to power 1 l raised to power 1 t raised to power minus 2 sorry minus 1 so if you compare the dimension of surface tension and impulse are different so that should be our answer let us check for uh, the fourth one also pressure is force upon area pressure is force upon area so that will be m raised to power 1 l raised to power 1 t raised to power minus 2 upon l raised to power 2 so it will be m raised to power 1 l raised to power minus 1 t raised to power minus 2 and young's modulus will be f again same right it will be f by uh, it, its dimension will be same as the dimension of stress so option 4 is incorrect so option 3 is the right answer now let us say this question uh, which is based on uh, the principle of homogeneity of dimension so the expression given below shows the variation of velocity v with time t so we have given v as a function of time and we have to first find the dimension of a b and c and then we have to find the dimension of a b c product of a b c right so um, by the principle of homogeneity the dimension of v will be same as the dimension of a t square it is same as the dimension of b t upon c plus t now if you consider if you see uh, c is getting added to t so it, we can say the dimension of c is same as the dimension of time so we can say dimension of c will be t raised to power 1 and dimension of c plus t will be same as time t raised to power 1 right so dimension of a t square will be same as dimension of v so from this dimension of a will be l t raised to power minus 1 upon t raised to power 2 so that will be l t raised to power minus 3 similarly uh, b t upon c plus t its dimension will be same as dimension of v so it will be l t raised to power minus 1 times t so that will be the dimension of b t so b will be l t raised to power minus 1 so we got the dimension of a b and c now we have to take the product so a b c its dimension will be a is uh, t raised to power minus 3 l raised to power 1 b is l t raised to power minus 1 and c, uh, c is t this will get cancelled out so it will be l raised to power 2 t raised to power minus 3 so l raised to power 2 t raised to power minus 3 so option 2 is the right answer now let's say this question uh, so we have to match again we have to match so we have given some physical quantities in the list one and we have to match the corresponding dimension again we are going to use elimination technique so let us uh, first find the dimension of angular impulse so angular impulse is f uh, you can say f r t or you can say it will be uh, the angular momentum right angular impulse is change in angular momentum so angular mo momentum is m v r we can use this so m raised to power 1 l raised to power 1 t raised to power minus 1 l raised to power 1 this will be m raised to power 1 l raised to power 2 t raised to power minus 1 so we got the dimension of angular momentum or angular impulse right so let us compare 1 to n minus 1 so 1 to n minus so it corresponds to 3 so if you compare option a is incorrect option b is incorrect so we're left with on, only option c and d now let us check for latent heat so latent heat uh, the formula will be q is equals to m times l where m is the mass q is the energy so latent heat will be uh, q by m so the dimension of latent heat will be m raised to power 1 l raised to power 2 t raised to power minus 2 divided by m raised to power 1 so that will be l raised to power 2 t raised to power minus 2 so 0 2 minus 2 so 0 2 minus 2 so we can say uh, b corresponds to 1 right next is electrical resistivity so resistivity um, you can use there are many formulas which you can use so if we apply resistance formula r is equals to rho l by a right we can use this or um, or what else we can do if i want to simplify this resistivity now e is equals to rho j that is more like easy to find the dimension of rho where electric field can be written as f by q because uh, force uh, force is q times e so we got this formula we can use this formula to find the dimension of resistivity so rho is equals to f upon qj 
सो इट विल बी एम रेस्ट पर वन एल रेस्ट पर वन टी रेस्ट पर माइनस टू डिवाइडेड बाय क्यू क्यू इज करेंट टाइम्स द टाइम सो वी कैन राइट दिस इज ए रेस्ट पर वन टी रेस्ट पर वन एंड जे इज करेंट डेंसिटी दैट इज करेंट अपॉन एरिया सो करेंट विल बी ए एंड एरिया विल बी एल रेस्ट पर टू सो दिस कम्स आउट टू बी एम रेस्ट पर वन एल रेस्ट पर थ्री एंड टी रेस्ट पर माइनस थ्री ए रेस्ट पर माइनस टू सो वन थ्री माइनस थ्री वन थ्री माइनस थ्री माइनस टू सो इलेक्ट्रिकल रेस्ट सी कॉर स्पॉन्स टू फोर सो ऑप्शन फोर इज इन करेक्ट ऑप्शन सी शुड बी द आंसर सिमिलरली इलेक्ट्रोमोटिव फोर्स इज नथिंग बट ई विच इज नथिंग बट क्यू टाइम्स वी सो क्यू टाइम्स वी विल बी दर्क डन राइट सो फ्रॉम दिस we can find the dimension of electromotive force so by taking the dimension of work upon charge so work is m raised to power 1 l raised to power 2 t raised to power minus 2 where charge is current times the time so a times t so it will be m raised to power 1 l raised to power 2 t raised to power minus 3 times a raised to power 1 so 1 2 minus 3 1 so 1 2 minus 3 uh, minus 1 sorry right so d corresponds to Uh, d corresponds to so the c corresponds to 4 yeah so option c is the right answer right so this question is based on significant figures and uh, for an experimental expression y which is uh, the quotient of th uh, 32.3 times 1 1 2 5 2 7 27.4 Where all the digits are significant, then to report the value of y, we should write. So first of all, we should know what is the rule. Uh, so here, uh, first let us figure out the dimension, uh, the significant figures of each term, right? So thirty-two point three has three significant figures. One one two five, we can say it has four significant figures. Where twenty-seven point four has three significant figures. Now what we have to do, we have to round off the answer up to. Three significant figures. Now, if you look at the options without doing any calculation, we can find the answer. So it is on. Uh, so option A has seven significant figures. Option B has five significant figures. It has six, and option D has three significant figures. So D should be the right answer. Without doing any actual calculation, we can find the answer. Right. Now let us see this question. Again, we have to match the the col uh, the columns. So on the on the list one, we have different physical quantity. On the list two, we have the corresponding dimensions. So permeability of free space. So permeability is mu naught, right? So let us figure, think about a formula which has mu naught in it. So we can use um, there are many formulas we can use. So let us use F is equals to or sorry, uh, let me use the formula of magnetic field. so b due to a circular coil will be mu not i by 2r so we can use this and this b can be written as f upon qv right so f upon qv is equals to mu not i by 2r so from this we can say the dimension of mu not will be same as the dimension of fr upon i qv we can use this so it will be m raised to power 1 l raised to power 1 t raised to power minus 2 and r is nothing but the radius so it will be l raised to power 1 divided by i i will be a q will be a times t v will be l t raised to power minus 1 now from this this l will get cancelled out so m raised to power 1 then we have l raised to power 1 this t will get cancelled out with this then we have t raised to power minus 2 a raised to power minus 2 so 1 1 minus 2 minus 2 So one one minus two minus two. So op, uh, a corresponds to three. A corresponds to three. So option A is the right answer. Similarly, we can check for magnetic field and magnetic moment is nothing but the current times the area, and torsional constant is nothing but a torque per unit deflection, right? So uh, you can say the dimension of uh, torsional constant will be same as the dimension of torque, right? Similarly, you can check. So option A is the answer of this question. right so let us see this question again it is based on the principle of homogeneity so position of a particle moving on the x axis is given by this equation where x is a function of time 
and t is in uh, okay right so the dimension of a b c by d is so we know um, by the principle of homogeneity the dimension of x will be same as the dimension of a sin t it will be same as the dimension of b cos square t it will be same as the dimension of c t square it will be same as the dimension of d so dimension of d is same as dimension of x which is length so l raised per 1 dimension of a sin t will be same as dimension of length where sin t is dimensionless so dimension of a is nothing but dimension of length and uh, dimension of b cos square t will be same as the dimension of length and cos is a trigonometric ratio which is dimensionless so b has a dimension of l then we have c t square which is having a dimension of length so dimension of c will be l raised per 1 t raised per minus 2 and d has a dimension of length and we have to find a b c by d where a is l b is l c is l t raised per minus 2 d is l so it comes out to be l raised per 2 t raised per minus 2 so option c is the right answer right so now let us see this question so if b is the magnetic field and mu naught is the permeability of the free space then the dimension of b by mu naught is so um, right so if i use the formula of magnetic field at the center of a circular coil which is mu naught i upon 2r now by using this we can find the dimension of b by mu naught so b dimension of b by mu naught is nothing but the dimension of i by r where i is a r will be radius l so a l raised per minus 1 so option 2 is the right answer so we are done with uh, the question based on units and dimension which were asked in january uh, i'm pretty uh, hopeful uh, that your confidence in these questions have improved so in the next video i'm going to discuss questions from gravitation